Well, YouTube, Ronan Kazi, another legendary Ooh. video. And there's Caesar, another legendary video. Uh, doubled the speed because it's long. It took about 50 minutes to do this. Uh, the leader, a little bit smaller, ran up to the front immediately. You know that I probably have said this a million times, don't go there. Um, he's in a bad spot, so I try to go up and support him. I'm playing my skill-based DPS build where I need to put a status effect on people, and you can see the icon on the left slowly deteriorating. It gives me 20% bonus. That's perfect shock and all. And then I switch to test subject. And then you can see on the very right, those two little gears. And that gives me another 20% on my skill and my weapon. So this is what I'm rinsing and repeating all the time. Recently saw a couple legendary videos I made where I was solo legendary. Uh, one of the commentators, I don't know how to say his name, but he's a guy that did a video. He showed a video and I reposted it in the comments of how to sneak in there. <clears throat> Him and Rich85, and I'm sorry I don't know your name. I went on your channel. It's great. He's just starting off. If you could please support him. I'm going to ask him how I pronounce his name. It's like an S and an I and a zero. And then I just, I get lost because I'm not that smart. But he has a great channel. I liked it. And I commented on it. He's got really good, he's just starting off. And that's, I think, I, I like what he's doing. And uh, it's a good person to support if you like these type of videos. So he, I watched his videos and it made me want to go into District Union Arena again. I know you don't want more videos of District Union Arena where I'm soloing. <clears throat> but I kind of love it. And so I thought about what if I went into these other legendaries. The other ones are kind of hard to solo. There's that one kind of cheat on Capitol. You can go in that room I showed you in one of my videos. And then DUA has that little hideout. But I was looking for a legendary group. I'm trying to do the weekly capital. And I didn't get in the capital. I got in this. Hey, and you can see already got one of our teammates. Hey, hey, I'm squirting dogs today. Uh, I'm getting them to shut up by squirting them with water, nothing bad. Um, and so I, we already had a guy drop. Roxy, and that's Roxy. Knock it off. So, <clears throat> what's going to happen throughout this run is we're going to constantly lose a guy, get a guy, lose a guy, get a guy. And unfortunately, I'll turn the volume up. What happens next is kind of funny. I mean, it's not. This has happened to me before. But when you join a legendary and you join in this section, what happens is Roxy, Roxy. What happens in this section is you get morphed, stop it, you get morphed right in that little tunnel. Oh my gosh, they're going crazy. So, there's some water for both of you and for you. So what happens is this guy joins the group and he gets summoned right up there and it's a bad spot because I've done that before and he just, you don't, you're disoriented. You're not used to coming there and then you get smoked. We take care of this sniper pretty quick. This guy to my left, he stays throughout the whole game. Him and I work on that sniper and uh, that's a really, probably the first thing that you need to focus on. Again, I'm running Artificer on that turret so I'm getting extra power. We're getting up the our leader. And it's okay. And that's a pretty good group that clears it that fast. And we're going to the next part. So in this legendary, you got to set it off. Sometimes I like to put my turret here. <clears throat> if we went that fast, I'm kind of nervous. I... <laughs> Oh, that's what happened. Oh, my God. That, 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 right, <laughs> oh, man, that was fucking hilarious, dude. Holy fucking triple six, bro. <laughs> and he unfortunately oh, drops. <laughs> he left. He left for that.
All right, I'm going to turn it back down, but that was that's an unfortunate thing that's happened to me when you come into a legendary, especially this legendary, it spawns you right there. So it, that's a bad place to spawn. Again, with artifice, you're, you're helping everyone's turret. So eventually everyone kind of realizes that that artifice are out. Uh, the group leader was a lower level, like 200 or something. So I figured I had to be DPS. Normally, I've told you I like to change a lot and change builds. I didn't F around with that. Uh, it's one of these cases where I'm just going to do my part to carry the DPS. And me and this other guy uh, do the DPS for the group. First helos in, I run back. You don't have to, but I run back because one, <clears throat> those two scrubs get dropped down, but a chunga is coming through the hole next. And this is where I'm deciding, should I get rid of my turret and put it back up here? And you're going to see, we, we smoke that. And there's another guy comes in. We smoke that other chunga. Here's the other chunga. So this is what I'm worried about at this point. And the group leader, being a younger guy, he gets smoked, and they both get smoked down there. And so you see I'm using a healing kit. I normally don't use healing kits. I'm trying to run back, and I'm going to throw out my artificer. And so we, ooh, I, I catch the bullets like crazy. This gets a little hairy. We have three chungas. There goes one. And then I go down. <clears throat> so sometimes if you're not doing anything, maybe you'll, uh, I died. So that kills my turrets, and that's kind of a bad thing. <clears throat> but dude gets me up pretty fast. I need to get that turret up. Even if I go down again, I need to get it up. But you see, we got a ton of DPS, stupid dog. And it's going to be okay. Now, one thing that <clears throat> the group leader does, which I don't normally do, but when a couple guys, we had one guy that disconnected, and he votes to kick him immediately, which I'm not for that or against that. I'm not anything. I just sometimes that's happened to me. I'm like, dang, I'm coming back in. But I also realize that, you know, you got to carry the load then for a while. So that's a personal thing. Uh, I try not to kick people out of there, but I don't blame someone if they do. He just wants to get this legendary done. I'm going to take this time to say thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting. Uh, everyone's been really great. Uh, had some good first-time people. Uh, <laughs> said I was clickbaiting, but you, you guys know if you've watched the channel, I'm pretty consistent. I try not to do things that are just for clicks. Uh, I try to do what you guys want to see or just do something different. I love that some of you are making your own videos. That's great. I've learned a lot from a bunch of people on here. There's definitely a way to sneak into District Union Arena and Rich85 and this other gentleman who has the videos that I subscribe to now, and I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, he has a great video on how to do it. Uh, I, I also mentioned recently that my sons want to play uh, MMORPG, and they pick World of Warcraft because they've played it in various degrees. <clears throat> and so one of the concepts that are in those type of games is aggro. And you'll notice sometimes that you can move and you won't get any attention from anyone because someone else is doing a lot more aggro. Or, and I'll give you a great example, if you ever do the Vile Jammer build and you start just jamming the crap of people behind a wall, they'll come and they'll go past everyone going for you. So there is a, a kind of a threat that the AI has. And it's not as pronounced in those other games because that's one of the main mechanics. They don't really tell you that you're causing this problem and that people are going to go for you. But that's part of the AI that's built in. If you're doing all the damage, they're going to come after you. It's why the Grenadier doesn't bomb everyone. He bombs maybe one person. And so you see that the group leader, he goes down a lot, but and you saw in one video, I had a guy that went down a lot. He's aggressive. 
he's not purposely dying, right? So he's learning this as we go, which is all okay. Like I said, it's not a problem if you die. The problem is if you way overextend each time. And you'll see as time goes on, he's right there with us. And we become a pretty formidable team. Sometimes I like it when it's faster because it makes the game seem like it's faster. That usually takes a long time resin somebody. So we got through here. The other thing when you're in a group and you're not the main damage dealer, you probably want to let them set up. So you're going to see here, uh, I'm trying to get my shit together. And uh, I know there's those Johnny Five. You see, there's a guy immediately on our right. Well, this is because we started before we all got set up. So now I got a guy right on my right. I'm trying to pulse him. You see one guy went down, and I'm going to get smoked because there's never a guy there. Then he goes to the back. And I've talked to you about this, about getting flanked. And I've talked to you about pushing on one side, and this is the natural consequence of that. Uneven pushing causes a guy to come around. Now we have a guy behind us. Now one of these guys is going to get smoked because there's a guy behind us. So I'm going to immediately go pulse, and I'm going to throw my turret behind us to take care of that guy. Now i got to run back and get that. And now you can see that we're overbalanced on this side, and now they're pushing on the left. And this is a kind of an advanced kind of thing to think about. This isn't something that your first time in you shouldn't know, but you should start as the game slows down and you play more and you start doing heroics. And a, and a gentleman talked to me in the comments. He said something about the numbers. And what I'm going to say is, I just assume he's talking about, hey, squirting. Maybe he's talking about the watch level. And, I, and basically I said, the game, you get 10% better when you're at watch level 800 or 850 or higher. You're 10% better because all your stats are 10% better. And when you have expertise, your X amount of expertise better. So like I have 20 expertise. So on some things, I'm 30% better than a base character that doesn't have that. So it's not a fair fight if we went into PvP. So if you notice, I'm not going into uh, PvP. I'm not going to the top tier because A, I don't know the maps. B, I don't know the strategy, so I got to learn that before I'm going to go in there. Yes, I might be higher, but I'm assuming everyone that's in the dark zone at this point has high-level expertise. You're going to almost always <clears throat> throw your turret there. That's the, the way to play it. I'm going to throw an artificer near there. Oh, no, I got a, a plane, uh, my drone. And so there's four chungas that are going to come. And there's this first one long away. And as soon as you kind of take those people down in front of you, then they're going to bring in another helo. So you can kind of tell how fast you're moving. And we get enough people down. See, that helo's coming right away. So that's like number three and number four is coming and number two is already coming. In one of these videos that we wiped, I showed you a guy got on the mounted gun. And I believe this is a great strategy. So... You don't have to do it all the time, but I know this chunga is going to eventually go over to the left, so I'm going to go over there. I'm going to put my husker do out there. If we had a pulse, it would be good because you can see that they have their healing hive. That's group leader. See, he's inside the fence, not outside. So that's a thing that he's progressing. I'm going to go up on the mounted gun, and when he comes in, he's going to get a little surprise. And he's done. And that's easy. So that's another strategy. If you're under if you're underpowered, you might put, <clears throat> you know, maybe your turret's more inside, so they're more protected. Let them come a little bit and defend that guy. May put a healing hive on that guy and just funnel people to the left. So in that case, I put turrets on the left side of that door to make them naturally go to the right and into the uh the last thing you want to do is run them by and you can just make them go into the gun. And that's pretty easy. So at this point, <clears throat> right, we have people that are staying relatively close.
and we're just knocking it out. If you had a pulse, it'd be taking out that healing station. So, uh, oh, there I go. Look at me being smart for once. And I'm going to start trying to reach out there and break down their healing hive. And that's a group leader. And there's nothing wrong. He doesn't know the map, right? So he moved forward, and it's all okay. And the difference between doing it with my high DPS build versus my vial jammer, my vial jammer would have been putting a status effect and vial on each of the people that, that hit. Now I'm just doing uh, to uh, mechanical or technical things. I'm doing like 3 million damage. And to other people, I'm just stunning them. The other little hook or trick in this part is... You know, it's going to say he cleared it, but it's usually there's a couple people left. And we talk about, uh, you've heard me say the word backstopping. <clears throat> when I'm in a group like this, I'm not going to be the first guy leading the charge because I want to make sure that we get to the end. I don't care what we do at the end. I just want to make sure we get here. This is pretty easy. I'm going to put that turret up on the tent. To the left of it, there's a couple of little containers. I'm going to put top of those containers. That's a great spot for it. And I'm going to keep Pulse on because I'm going to get that dog. So what you want to do in this part, you want to make sure that you're looking at the left side. Right? You, and then we're going to boot him. And... <laughs> and that's fast, but bye-bye, Landmaster. And I feel bad, but there it is. That's why this is called the Three Amigos, because we, us three, kept staying in here. And you guys know that I have, uh, every once in a while, I get disconnected. So I'm like, holy shit, please don't disconnect. But I think I disconnected earlier in the day. You want to really protect that left flank, because that's really the only problem that's going to happen. See, I'm going to pulse. It knocks the dog down. So really, when you're in here, you should fight from where that box is and make sure the left, you have a turret there, and then you're all set. Now we're going to fight the dogs. I'm going to keep that jammer on for the dogs. I think when I started this, I only had two healing kits. We got a fourth. Now we're in business. I'm going to always put my turret up here, and I'm going to run out, pulse them, and then run back. Sometimes when you're doing that, people follow you. Like, you know, they're like, hey, we finally get to, I'm not, right? And so you can see they played with us. Now, the even free touches isn't going to go that far out. Again, this is all you're looking for in your teammates, that they're not going to continually go into bad spots. This is a part where uh, I don't know why the heck I'm getting status effects, but I guess I can put in status effects on that. Yeah, I guess. So that's another good strategy is the status effects getting put on them so I can just use test subject the whole time. You're not using capacitor in this because you need status effects. If I was never going to use my drone, then yes, I could use this pulse plus capacitor, and then that might be a little bit better DPS. I would say but please critique me and show me if it's better i um i i don't mind it oh someone offered to share with me their striker build also thank you for that person i forget your name but thank you for doing that not being facetious i know i can put four pieces together but some of it's the strategy uh, i've come to the realization that on red builds i'm just i play in behind cover but uh you know, it's hard for me to do Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker is a good set. Just I don't know how to play it, which seems dumb to say. You're going to see I have a problem here. For whatever reason, <clears throat> I'm going to change this, but we start. I'm putting that up, and I'm already dead before I get my stuff out. <clears throat> Again, I'm not going to complain because these are my teammates. We've developed into a good squad, but... You know, if you have someone in your group that's tech-based, you want them to get all their things set up. And the idea, 
we're killing things so fast that there's going to be a rush of guys on the left side. And I want those uh, traps to lock them in. You see, I'm just getting my ass kicked on this part of the map, so I hide in here again. I've had to come back in here and fight sometimes. And uh, I barely carried us through. Like, everyone got wiped, and so I put a, a thing and a thing and a thing. And maybe a drone would have been better in this point. Maybe Seekers would have been better. Maybe I'm a little too defensive. And so that's, this is something I always struggle with. Uh, my natural tendency is to be a little more defensive. But uh, sometimes that's not the right way to play. Sometimes you got to push. Because you, you, cause there's no defense. It's like when you're a tank build, you the game doesn't have it on Legendary where you can be a tank and just, you know, go against everyone. There's some really good builds that a guy can go a long time, but in a four-man, it's tough. I think I've only seen it once, and I have a video of it, I think. It's a DUA. We don't even talk. We're just jumping. So I've switched to a decoy because a decoy, when you go from the containers, is a must. Just a quick side note to folks that make videos. Uh, part of my process, which I'll make a video about, but I'm always looking for an ouch that hurt. I'm always ouch. And you can see we're getting bombed now because the decoy's down. You really need to have two decoys. But is I'm always looking for a spot where I can have, you know, you're telling a story in these kind of things. So uh, what's going to be your thumbnail? And that thumbnail is pretty important. Uh, in hindsight, I picked uh, the first, I'm ruining Kazi. So I thought I would pick a whoop de doo font. That font, I can't bold face or do extra crap to, so I'm kind of stuck. So sometimes it's unreadable, so, so, so. So when you're making a channel, you know, your thumbnails are important for your videos. So I try to find a scene in the video that I'm going to use, and that's kind of the story. The story of this legendary was, uh, and you see, we smoke those things like it's nothing. Um, the story of the video is these three, the three of us just kept playing. And now we're going to, this is the only time there's guys that come out from the left over there. You see that building over there going to spawn from over there. But you can slowly migrate around. I'm going to stay as an anchor and keep this flank. And I'm just getting long struck. And you can see we don't have a healer. This is just us doing it without a healer. But I'm going to keep the decoy up. Now there's a helicopter coming. I'm shitting bricks right now because you can see the helicopter. And now this is a race between the turret and the helicopter. Turret and helicopter. Whew. There's the turret. Someone comes back to help me. You'll see him come in. And that's what you got to appreciate your teammates. That is top shelf team mating right there. They get a 10 in team mating. Now the next uh, chunk is going down. I res someone for once. Thank you for being a decent person, Ronan. And these guys are over there on the right. And they're going to take that chunk on. You see my one guy came back. It was a great group, and what I loved about it is it morphed into a great group. The group leader was always pushing. Maybe too fast for me, but we are successful, so is it too fast? No. I, that's when I'm being a baby. That's when I look back at this and go, okay, I need to not be such a so concerned. And there's that chunga so that the ball game's over. Thanks, everyone, again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. We're over 260. I think we're at 265. Uh, still going long. I appreciate you. Please check out the other people. I might put them on the channel. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but I'll try to figure it out. This the other person, I'll put his name out there. And uh, I'll learn how to pronounce it first. And I'll talk about him and his video coming up. So... 
I'll have a reaction video. So thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.